Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly forecast. This is your reading for the week ahead, June 21st through the 27th, 2021. For all Geminis that may be watching, Gemini suns, moons, risings, Geminis on the house cusp, those with their sun in the third house, and Venus and Gemini. Happy birthday to all my Geminis out there. Hope you guys are doing well. And for your week ahead, we are uh, looking at six cards here with the Steampunk Tarot deck. Any cards I may need to clarify using the AEY Tarot here. And then uh, just as a bonus at the end of your reading, we're going to see what zodiac sign of importance you may be dealing with over the next week and what kind of interaction might you be having with this person with that zodiac sign. It could be positive or negative. We'll also look at what kind of interaction you might be having. So without further ado, guys, just as a general disclaimer, these are general readings. Of course, they do not resonate with everyone. As I always say, for the most accurate reading with the most accurate outcome, please come get a personal private tarot reading from either me or your favorite tarot reader out there. And any information you may need um, is below in the description box below this video, including my website scheduling page and a Groupon link for 41% off any 30 minute live reading. Uh, so go ahead and check that out if you're interested. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Gemini. Spirit, show me six cards for Gemini's week ahead. All Gemini's may be watching. Gemini suns, moons, rising. Gemini's on the house cusp. Those with their sun in the third house and Venus and Gemini. Show me six cards for Gemini's week ahead. Gemini's Gemini see what it's today. What is the theme for the month of the next week? June 21st, 27. What is something Gemini has learned in the past that would be useful for them to remember this week? A challenge they may be facing. A lesson they are learning now. And to give them or receive. Two more shuffles here. More of the Gemini, please. One. As a side note, guys, you did come up in the Taurus reading, so I would go ahead and watch the Taurus reading as well. So you could be dealing with a Taurus, but not necessarily. All right. So, Gemini. Here are your six cards down, and we're also going to look at the bottom of the deck to see what's going on here. Okay, we have the Fool. So a new beginning. Some of you are dealing with an Aries. I see long-term security and happiness with an Aries here, or I'm seeing a new beginning in a long-term relationship. This could be a marriage or a family, someone you are. No, I'm definitely seeing a marriage here or a long-term relationship. I'm definitely seeing a new beginning. All right, some of you are going to be taking a trip as well this week. Um, there's just this, I'm getting this new life, new beginning, just sense of freedom, sense of, you know, wonder, exploration. Also, for me, the full in the upright position represents hope and faith, trust in the universe. It's like you trust you trust this new beginning, you trust that this is going to be a good, good for you. Some of you are leaving a long-term relationship to travel solo. Okay, some of you are taking like a business trip or a short trip this week would be good as well. I do recommend that. So let's see, uh, Gemini, how you see yourself today? We have the Emperor in reverse, Aries, Taurus, Leo energy. So this could be, I could be reading for a masculine or someone who is in their masculine energy, regardless if you are a feminine or a masculine watching. Gemini, how you see yourself today? There could be a lot of chaos in your environment. Uh, this could have a feeling of maybe things being, you know, people not like following the rules, uh, stepping on your toes. Um, this is a feeling also of maybe, you know, feeling out of control or needing to control other people. Um, it can be an abuse of controlling energy. I'm also getting someone here is hopping mad. Someone here is like really have feels um, like they are about to lose their temper here. So. Um, others of you here, um, I would just watch out with the controlling behavior. Okay. This could also be here. Uh, someone has uh, enraged you for some reason. The emperor is a boss though. So this, I feel like I could be reading for Gemini here who, um, is in a high position in society or has, you know, they feel someone here feels like they have uh, lost control of 
an unmanageable situation. In other words, there's a lot of chaos surrounding this and a lack of boundaries. So let's see, the theme for you over the next week is the lovers in reverse. There's the Gemini. So you are dealing with the Gemini. So here I'm seeing a split happening. Um, I'm hearing a karmic split, karmic breakup. You may have recently broken up with your twin flame, your, your soulmate here. I'm definitely getting a soul connection, a soul tie. This usually for me indicates unrequited love or the chemistry in the relationship, harmony in the relationship constantly fizzles out. So you may really um, be taking a break from this person, this Gemini, or may really feeling like um, there's no hope. Uh, you guys have unrequited love or there's uh, taking a separation. I'm getting a separation here. But Gemini, it looks like, if I'm going to be perfectly honest here, um, someone here is um, has the ability to stay in control, to observe their boundaries, and to... Uh, step up and lead a situation forward, but maybe failing to do that. This could be you. What do you want to do with this person? Okay, I'm definitely seeing a major split and major decision here. Um, for some people here, um, you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Leo. You may be feeling unrequited love from someone or someone may be feeling unrequited love from you. Something a lesson Gemini has learned in their past that will be useful for them to remember this week. Yeah, we have the five of swords, Aquarius. So someone here was all about what they could get from a situation, causing defeat in the other person, one-upping them. Uh, this could also be here a feeling of winner takes all, very competitive energy. This is also... Not a very friendly energy here. I'm also seeing three people involved. So discord within a group or team. I'm also seeing fights, arguments here, which produce no winner at all, okay? And I always say when it comes to love, do you want to be happy or do, do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? Someone here wanted to be right at all costs. I'm not saying that's you, but this is a lesson of an energy you learned in your past. It's coming up again for you this week as a reminder. Do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? So concerning this person or situation, of course, your challenge uh, this week is the justice in reverse. So there could be a divorce pending here, a court situation, a legal situation, something here. There is some negative karma. And what I mean is there's something is out of balance here regarding this uh, soulmate situation. Taurus, Leo, Gemini coming up. Libra. So the universe naturally wants to balance the scales for you. So it looks like there was a disagreement, a fight, an altercation in the past here. It's still pending this week. I feel like the karma is coming up again this week. Someone here also may seek revenge in terms of, I'm hearing court order, custody, child support, or some other legal arrangement. Some of you are dealing with the court of law or dealing with uh, a separation and divorce here. I'm seeing this is a major, major situation. The lesson you are learning now this week is the Six of Wands in reverse. So someone here is just simply not getting the validation, the attention, the support. Um, and, and really, I see someone here who was dishonored or betrayed another person, okay? Uh, the Six of Wands in Reverse is a huge betrayal or dishonor, especially when it comes to the pride or ego of someone. And the Five of Swords in the past here represents someone that acted out or acted based on their ego, not on love. So I'm not saying this is you. We do have Leo coming up here. So someone here is going to be, I want to say face judgment, but really this is a karmic situation. This is actually could be a karmic that you are dealing with. Okay. Taurus, Leo, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Leo. The gift you will receive is the Eight of Swords Reverse. So you are going to be able to get out of the situation. You are going to be able to take your power back. You don't want to stay stuck. You don't want to feel like a victim. Um, and this is you also saying no to playing martyr, playing victim, pretending like there's you don't see the problem for what it is. Whatever this issue is, I feel like it's going to be resolved probably at least on a personal, on your personal terms, 
by the end of the week here because I'm seeing that someone here realizes they were wrong about something. They might have been wrong about you for all we know. So let's go ahead and clarify the Justice card in reverse. So what is the Justice card in reverse in the child position? We have a very wounded person here. Someone is extremely hurt here. Doesn't want to give up on you, Gemini. They want to hang in there, but they are they are on their last thread here. This person this is someone that you've been through a lot with. I'm hearing a lot of battles, a lot of disagreements, a lot of fighting. Um, it could be like some sort of nasty divorce here. I'm also getting Sagittarius. Let's see, two more cards here. What? We got the Hermit. Why is the justice in reverse? Why is the justice in reverse in the challenge position? Why is the justice in reverse? There you are, Gemini. Queen of Swords, uh, telling it like it is here. Someone's going to have to lay down the law here. I feel like you've got to be very straightforward with this person. You've got to just let them know, like, like this is how it is, okay? As much as it, you don't want to hurt their feelings, um, something here just can't keep going on because for me, the Nine of Wands is someone that is repeatedly, you know, putting themselves in a situation. They think they know what to expect, and so they kind of act based on their own hurt feelings from the past. They're coming from a place of hurt, and so they kind of project that into the future. All right, let's see. Page of Wands again. So... There is communication regarding uh, this situation, and also here I'm getting exciting news as well. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign, a younger fire sign, or this is involving a child. I'm hearing something regarding, uh, uh, I was hearing paternity, custody, um, and also advocating for a child here, a younger fire sign possibly. So why is the Six of Wands in reverse here as the lesson um, Gemini is learning this week or I don't know? Nine of Swords, way in your head. So this is your card, Gemini. Okay, way too much worry here. Uh, this is also anxiety, depression, uh, insomnia, just worrying and thinking about the same thing over and over again. Okay, there's the Earth sign. Of someone is very loyal, but they're not moving. They're not taking action. Uh, this is someone also that um, I'm getting Virgo energy here. Yeah, someone has to move on here. Someone needs to move. Also, this could have to do with travel arrangements or uh, relocation. See, at the bottom of the deck, we have the strength card. So someone is holding back here. Let me go ahead and clarify um, the um, Eight of Swords reversed as a gift Gemini will receive. What's the Eight of Swords in reverse here? Why is the Eight of Swords in reverse? Eight of Swords in reverse. Someone's juggling. They have romantic feelings. Someone's really on the fence here. I do see an apology coming in, an offer coming in, though. What's the, uh, what comes after the uh, Two of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups? What comes after the Two of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups? Okay. We have the world in reverse and the king of swords reversed. Um, so there is some unfinished business here. I feel like, um, Gemini, this is your energy here, the king of swords in reverse. I feel like you're going to have to, I feel like someone keeps coming back here, trying to resolve conflict with you. Um, this may be involving a child or a karmic. Um, I'm also picking up Virgo here. I feel like this person is giving you not giving you the attention you feel you deserve. And I feel like you're going to have to end up, you know, cutting this person out, even if there is no closure. Because they keep coming back with the door open, and you can't keep leaving the door open for this person is what I'm getting. So let's go ahead and see. What zodiac sign is Gemini dealing with? Gemini, you're dealing with yourself. 
Okay, you could be dealing with the other Gemini. Who, who is Gemini dealing with? Let's see, any other, any more cards? Uh, who is Gemini dealing with? Gemini dealing with another Gemini? Well, that would be interesting. Um, I highly doubt it though. Gemini dealing with themselves this week. Any other sign Gemini dealing with? Any other sign? What zodiac sign is Gemini dealing with over the next week? June 21st to 27th. An Aries. Well, we do have the Fool here at the bottom of the deck uh, with the Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, and I didn't see the Devil there. So, uh, in this order, this would be an Aries who could be a karmic uh, in the family, someone or in a long-term relationship with <clears throat> that wants a new beginning with you. Um, other than that, um, what kind of interaction is Gemini having with the Gemini? What kind of interaction is Gemini having with the Gemini over the next week? What kind of interaction is Gemini having with the Gemini? Ninth house, Saturn. Okay, so Sagittarius, and then we've got Saturn in Aquarius. So definitely the karma in the ninth house uh, the ninth house indicates foreign travel, could be foreign relations, adventure, higher education, higher learning, customs, faith, beliefs, pilgrimages, spiritual quests, aspirations, journalism, religion, gurus, risk taking. And I did see the, I did say, I saw something about guns. I, I read, I misread the word, but I saw the word guns. I don't know why that's coming up, but, um, I, I don't know why. I think that that's a, something, there's a message there. But uh, other than that here, Saturn also uh, rules Capricorn as well. Okay, I was hearing something about a Saturn return as well. What kind of, so in terms of the interaction that you're having with the Gemini, um, I feel it's a positive interaction because you're gaining wisdom here, okay? Ninth house is wisdom. Um, you're seeking wisdom regarding a situation. Um, I really, I'm also getting something about foreign relations, travel, passports, customs, immigration. The, the aspect of adventure comes up here with the fool. So the, I'm getting something about travel, okay? That might be why the word guns came up. There could be something going on with guns and travel. I don't know. Maybe someone's trying to, hmm. I hope someone's not trying to bring a weapon into another country. What is the interaction with the Aries this week? What is the interaction with the Aries, please? The moon. Okay. So someone could have an Aries moon, of course, but Aries is the radical. And so with the moon feelings here, I'm getting the Cancerian energy. So also, is the moon in Aries this week? No, because we just had it in Leo. Would it be already in Aries? So this is more of a neutral energy, but it's bordering on positive because the moon represents our instincts, our nurturing, our gut reactions, our feelings, our comfort levels, our digestion, our home, family, conditioning, habits, femininity, lineage, privacy, embodiment emotions, sustenance, self-soothing moods, and mother. So I'm really also getting exploring your needs, your emotional needs, what makes you feel secure in a relationship as well. I'm also getting something about mothering and mother instincts, like your instincts are kicking in, especially if you are a mother. I'm also, I was also picking up gut reactions here. There's something that you're going to be, feel inclined to do on a gut level. And I'm getting, listen to your instincts, okay? So this is a very interesting reading. Um, a lot of um, sort of moving parts, moving pieces here. And um, I'm definitely getting, I'm picking up foreign travel, foreign relations, Sagittarius. Uh, we have the Aries here. There's an adventurous energy as well. Okay, I feel like something is gnawing at you regarding, it could be a trip or an adventure. Listen to your feelings. Listen to your instincts. I feel like there's a, a lesson you're going to be learning here. And a Saturn 
Saturn are usually harsh lessons. Okay, if you you could have Saturn in the ninth house here, so there could be a, a harsh lesson here regarding also a mother as well. So Gemini, this is what I have for you over the next week. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful week. Take good care of yourselves. I send you love and light. All right, bye.